Roger Maris All-Star Week will support Sanford Roger Maris Cancer Center's vision to expand into a national destination for cancer research, treatment, education, and training. Now, Roger Maris Jr. joins me today to talk about all of that, so welcome. Well, thank you, Amy. Great to be here. Absolutely. I mean, Anna, sorry about yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Okay. Um, obviously, you came from a, a warmer temperature, and I you're did. up here now, so this cause must be very important to it you. Is very for important, yes. Withstanding all of this, so for All Star Week, what can people expect? Well, um, you know, the week is really all about cancer awareness and celebrating all our cancer survivors, the people who have been touched by cancer, and the people who are currently going through the cancer treatments. So. That's what the week's all about, in, in, in essence. And then also we want to give back, so we're going to give back through uh, helping the youth through different camps, academies, and uh, different venues like baseball and all that type of stuff. So that's kind of where we are. And uh, June 13th through the 19th is going to be the week, the Roger Maris All-Star Week. And you can go to rogermaris.com and check it out and uh, see what activities we got planned and hopefully uh, partake in some of them. Well, I know that you are the son of the famous Roger Maris. I think everybody in Fargo now at least knows that name. Um, this cause, including the sports aspect of it, seems to be very important to you. What was it about cancer research that really resonated with you? Well, I mean, to be able to have the research at the cancer center so that we can kind of work towards curing this devastating disease is very important, and I think everybody knows that. Most people know somebody who's been touched by cancer, so for us to be able to have the cancers there, there to do the research that they do over there and provide the services they provide and the training and the education over there is a lot, you know, and our mission is to become a, a national destination for cancer and we've got so many wonderful things happening over there. We've got our bone marrow program that has been started over there, started at the end of last year and we've treated eight patients so far and they've just done amazingly well, so we're real proud of that. And then uh, the cellular therapy coming that by the end of the year, we should have two more cellular treatments that we'll be able to offer over there to help the people that are uh, suffering from cancer. So yeah, a lot of really good things going on over there. I think All Star Week is a very appropriate name because obviously we're pairing you. We've got your father's legacy. We've got Sanford. All of you in your own rights are all stars, at least in this community and I know probably across the nation as well. Um, and you're using that platform to help kids. I mean, cancer is a very important thing, but you're finding a way kind of to, to bring kids on in this whole thing. You've got baseball, you've got football, basketball, all of that sort of thing. What is your hope, at least for the kids that are getting involved in these activities and these clinics? What do you want them to get out of it? Well, we want them to be able to, A, realize that cancer is here and cancer is real, you know, and uh, when we're little, sometimes we don't know about cancer we, we heard about what we know so if we can keep educating people and making it more people aware of it and you know the empathy and the support that goes towards that and hopefully raising funds that we can raise the funds to do the research and and hopefully head down the road to creating a cure that's kind of where we're headed oh fantastic cause now i know that there is a roger maris youth academy mm -hmm. can you tell me about that well that's something new this year you know every year we like we did last year, but we wanted to raise a bar and do something a little bit more. We did a lot of camps last year, which were, were really good, but this year we have an academy that we're starting. Uh, we partner with the Girls and Boys Club here in Fargo, and we're gonna take the youth, like 40 underprivileged youth, and try to take them and put them on a path to success. And we're gonna do that through a mentorship program. Uh, we've partnered up with the Chamber of Commerce. They're gonna help us with this whole thing. So getting these kids opportunities to see life as an opportunity instead of like, you know, there's nowhere to go, create some paths, open some doors, and hopefully give these kids opportunities to do something wonderful with their lives. And I know that unfortunately cancer has affected a lot of, a lot of households and even just kind of communicating with kids at this young age, making them familiar with this because unfortunately in their life they probably will experience somebody that has it and letting them know that we're all working toward a cause. That is wonderful that you do that. Um, something for the adults you guys might be a little bit interested in. You guys have a celebrity golf tournament coming up. We do. Some very exciting names, obviously. Yes. Um, what are we gonna see of that? Well, this is, you know, we did that for 37 years and then we branched out to make it a, a bigger week and to do some more things, but we've continued that last year. We're continuing it this year. So yes, for the adults, kids, whoever wants to be part of that, uh, it's, it's a community event for everybody men, women, kids, and uh, we have two rounds of golf that we're gonna have at Rose Creek on, on Thursday, uh, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. And then at Osgood, we're gonna have a nine hole event because we found through, you know, just talking to different people, there's a lot of people who don't have the time to take out their schedule to play 18 holes of golf. So they're gonna be able to maybe join us for nine holes. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like playing 18. It's like, you're done, <laughs> done after nine. So we, we, that venue really was started last year and really got a lot of positive feedback from that. So we're really, 
uh, you know, looking to build on that too. And then this year we've actually added a golf clinic uh, for the little kids too, or whoever really wants to learn, you know, and, uh, and get into the game of golf. And so, yeah, it's going to be a great day for everybody. Could be men, women, children, just everybody in the community really to come out and hit, hit the ball and uh, try to make, raise some money and awareness for cancer. Yeah. And you have some people that, uh, some names we might recognize here in Fargo. We got Brock Lesnar, Matt Cullen. Now those are just two on the big slate yeah. of very exciting people that are going to be at that event. And listen, we just appreciate your stewardship. I know that uh, coming here, especially in this weather, is probably not ideal. So we appreciate you well, being here. Well, we get here. a chance to cool <laughs> off. You know, you come <laughs> you from do. Florida in the hot weather, come up here, cool off. You know, hey, it's not a bad deal. Uh, and and we've always been so welcome here break. in Fargo, and Fargo has been so good to our family. So. Yeah, it's always fun to be up here. Yeah, and thanks so much to Sanford for bringing you here as well because we absolutely appreciate it. Well, thank you, Anna. Absolutely, thanks so much. All right, stay with us. We are going to talk a little bit about um, kids' health. That's one of the next things that we have coming up, and I know that it's something that is important to you, so make sure you watch.